What's up? Welcome back to Isaac Reacts. Uh, now, I recognize that my hair looks like a cartoon witch right now. Uh, I am straight out of the shower. Please don't question anything. Just enjoy the video, okay? Today, I wanted to watch a video by Optimum Tech on the RDX 4070. Now, this thing, pretty fresh, I think. I don't actually know. that. That's, that's a fun fact for you. I've got no idea. Yeah, and that's where the whole... Uh, wanting to watch this video comes from. I am uninformed as fuck. Uh, Optimum Tech, I actually know this channel. I've watched a few of his videos specifically on the super light mice and, and the Wu-Tang keyboard. That's how I know about it. If if you watch some of my other reactions, you, you're you aware that I'm aware. I'm I really just, I'm just really curious what, what, what he has to say about it. I trust his opinions, I'll, I'll say that. The 70 class of NVIDIA's GPUs have always been exciting to me because they've always represented the sweet spot in terms of performance, in terms of value, and also in terms of power consumption. And today we're gonna see if that story continues. To be fair, uh, uh, power consumption has never been much of a concern for me because I've been living in areas where power has been dirt cheap for most of the time. Uh, even right now, I'm running a pretty overpowered uh, power supply unit for the specs my computer has. With the new RTX 4070, and personally, I think there is a lot riding on this card because 4080, 4090, pretty overkill, pretty expensive, and 4070 Ti to a lot of people was just not that impressive. And I mean, Fair on enough. the surface, uh, things are looking pretty good. The founder's edition- But I mean, so not that impressive means for its price, I'm assuming, right? Because there are better ones, that, better cards that exist. So I think when it comes to GPUs, pretty much everything is in the context of the price. The card is super compact, and it's basically the same flow-through design as the 4080 and 4090 with fans on both yep. sides. But they look sick. I just, I have to say, they look fucking badass. This, this looks like a thing. It's like very clean and you look at it and it's like, oh yeah, that's a brick I want to have inside my computer. Much smaller to slot form factor. In fact, oh, the new 4070 is the exact same dimensions as the 3070, like one-to-one, -one, completely identical. That's sick. Now, I'm not going to tell you to upgrade from a 3070. Is it sick? I don't know. I actually kind of, I, th I think I actually kind of prefer the uh, really big size. I mean, I know it's not very practical, but it, it just... To me, it looks really cool when you have like a massive chunky GPU in your nice computer. See, at least one of the 40 series GPUs is nice and compact. What is also the same between these two GPUs though, surprisingly, is the amount of CUDA cores, 5,888. Of course, it's not exactly one-to-one, -one, but you just don't usually see that. We almost always expect an increase between generations. GPU clock yeah. speeds have seen a pretty massive jump though, plus 43% there. Huh. And we do see a nice bump to the memory spec as well. 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X. Basically, it's an identical setup to what you'll find on the 4070 Ti. Total board power, though. Um, I, 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 this, you know, watching this makes me think maybe I should have actually uh, looked at the specs of some other 40 series cards before going into this because I'm feeling a little too uninformed. Just 200 watts for the new 4070, which is pretty nice. But what isn't? Well, it's less than the 40, the, the 4070 for more power. So nice is that price increase. $600, <laughs> $600. is not exactly what I would call mid-range. Fuck. Now look, accounting for the huge inflation that we've seen since the launch of the 3070, $500 back then is kind of, you know, not too different to $600 today. But of course, Nvidia definitely okay. has the financial okay. buffer to keep this thing at 500. Was well, so I see I see so it could have been priced the same as the 3070 and um it would have made sense in terms of, it, and it, that would have made it cheaper, but they went and, okay, okay, I see. Range. Now look, accounting for the huge inflation yeah. that we've seen since the launch of the 3070, $500 back then is kind of, you know, not too different to $600 today. But of course, Nvidia definitely has the financial buffer mm -hmm. to yeah, that's this true. thing at 500 bucks. The problem is that they- the, Like a lot of companies don't change prices based on inflation they, they if, if they can afford it they'll they'll often be nice to the customer and leave the prices really as is you need to because there's no real current gen competition at this price point at the moment and at 600 dollars right. us it is 200 dollars cheaper than a 4070 ti which i think we'd agree is pretty substantial mm -hmm. so let's fire this thing up but how much better is the ti i i wish 
Oh, she had stats. At performance. And I wanted to experience, you know, firsthand what you're actually getting here. So I booted up some popular esports titles that I'm pretty familiar with and ran through some matches. I mainly wanted to see whether the 4070 would be suitable for a 1440p 240Hz or even 360Hz experience. And yeah, it is pretty much there. You know, yeah, I was going to say, there's no way it wouldn't be. That, that would be wild because I get pretty good frame. <laughs> I use a 20 series card, a 2070 Super, I believe. It's, it's so shit. Don't get it. It's so not worth it. But anyways, uh, that thing all runs at like depend. I mean, depending on what game I put up, some some of the games he tests, I could get 200 frames at 1440p. I have a 2K monitor, so. I think it would be unreasonable to expect this thing not to hit those numbers. Watch 2 with medium settings, I was seeing just below 400 FPS during fights. No problem there but yeah, that's with the GPU running below 200 watts. Definitely the total juicier power here is 200 watts, but it's by no means capped at that limit. Valorant was no problem at all, as you would expect. 500 FPS plus there when paired with the Ryzen 5800X 3D. And, in and the temperatures are good, but you know, that depends a lot on the build as well, so. In this case, actually, the 4070 was barely pulling 120 watts. Something a little bit more demanding, though, Apex with low settings uh, seemed solid enough for a 240Hz experience, but you will notice some dips here and there huh. in the more open areas during fights and stuff like that. Overall, though, pretty decent okay. considering that no, this yeah. is 1440p, and the power consumption seems... I actually want to see how much my GPU cost, because I, I, I honestly couldn't couldn't remember let me check yeah so mine when it just came out was uh 500 bucks if we're talking with inflation with inflation accounted for which he did so i think it makes sense too that is still way way more value i mean it's to be expected it's been years like actual years it's much lower than i had but expected. still that honestly pretty Just good 150 to 160 watts here so in a nutshell roughly the performance here that i'd expect from a 3080 or similar but the power consumption was easily 100 watts lower but let's try something i'll save you money in the long run especially i mean uh, power consumption might save you more money than yeah, yeah it, it really depends on what region you're living in it, it, whether it's worth it to go for the a little bit more demanding yeah. how about the new overdrive for ray tracing mode in cyberpunk this mode <laughs> severely ramps up the amount of rays in any yeah but you're not really supposed to use the overdrive ray, ray tracing uh, i guess no the, it exists for specific reasons like this right it's a tech demo mode I, th I think it's actually really cool that they added that they're like yeah our game is totally fucked up and it kills pretty much any gpu so if you ever want to test your, your GPU, you know, come over to Cyberpunk. We got we we, we got the ray tracing. As well as ray tracing just more of the total scene in general. So here we're at 1440p high settings with the ray tracing crank to that new overdrive mode. And the game looks absolutely insane in terms of lighting, but at barely 30 FPS. Barely 30, okay. Uh so it is a 40 series card, right? Which means it has frame generation. However, when stacking both the DLSS balanced and frame generation, we actually get a playable experience. Depend that is actually, oh, holy. <coughs> <coughs> that is actually, man, frame generation and DLSS. Is it DLSS free or, or, or not? I don't know, scene, probably is, right? Offering around 80 FPS. That lighting that is, crazy. is absolutely ridiculous. Everything looks so much more real. NPCs don't look like they're made out of Play-Doh. You pull out like two and a half times the frames out of thin air and the game looks the same. I mean, for some competitive games, frame generation obviously would fuck you over or could potentially. But for like Cyberpunk, for those kind of games, that, that was perfect. Anymore. What, and the what resolution is here? 40? So much more accurate. So yeah, very surprised that this actually works. So I mean, in isolation, at least, the new 4070 is actually looking pretty good. Like, yeah. decent capable performance at 1440p. Yeah, the consumption below 200 watts. Yeah, so it was at 1440, right. Yeah, no, this thing looks, for its value at least, very it good. Really nice I mean, yeah, $600 is expensive as fuck, obviously, but hey. The, but of course, Still. let's compare it to some more GPUs and see exactly All right, let's what Let's see, this is, this is what I so wanted. I had already run benchmarks for the 2070 and 3070. 2070 is ass. I regret getting it to this day. For this part one, <laughs> I was pretty familiar with the huge generational increase that we saw there. But between the 3070 and the new 4070, it's just not the same. We're looking at slightly over a 50% boost here from the 2070 to the 3070, but then only but, another yeah, 25 to 30% to the new 4070. But they're so, priced 
the same. No, they're not priced the same anymore, right? Because they went and did the inflation calculations. Nowhere near as dramatic of an increase for this generation. In F122, basically the same thing. 1440p high settings here. You're getting a pretty good... Ex I see. So on average, it looks like uh, this thing is, I mean, noticeably better everywhere, but not nowhere near as big of a generation leap as from the 20s series, which, I mean, made sense. Twenty, The 20 wasn't that great to be fair uh it, it it's not surprising that the 30 series was a huge leap and i feel like it's still a a, a a reasonable improvement experience no matter which of these three gpus you're playing on to be honest but there's definitely much more of a substantial increase between the 2070 and 3070 and mind you that's technically at the same msrp the margins did mm -hmm. look much better in modern warfare 2 though technically <laughs> i mean not anymore right right so if you went to if you went to buy the 3070 right now it would be cheaper to get than the than the 4070 if i right w wouldn't it because they did the inflation calculations for before you know setting the price on the rtx 4070 but i don't think they went and readjusted the old price of the 3070 back un unless they did which would be an absolute fucking loser move <laughs> 3070 by 50 percent which i will admit does turn out to be an outlier but for such a popular game it is pretty good to see so first of yeah. all let me just say if you have a 3070 or a 3060 ti the experience is actually pretty similar here on the 4070 it's so not necessarily worth upgrading of toggling off a few graphic settings here and there but what about versus the 4070 ti well in hogwarts legacy at 1440p oh, we're looking shit. at about a 20 percent boost here with the ti but that's for spending 33 percent more money 800 dollars versus actually a good point good point i forgot he, he even mentioned previously that the ti is really fucking expensive so from a value perspective the new 4070 actually beats the ti in this yep. specific title but is that what you should do i mean the 4070 ti it's likely the biggest competition for the 4070 at the moment that 200 dollars price difference it is substantial don't get me wrong but it's also within the range that you could probably justify it if the card is substantially faster so testing across 12 right. games at 1440p with high to ultra settings here's what we're looking at between it's better the everywhere the it's part, at least a little bit better everywhere 20 to 30 fps differences some games that slims down to around 10 in control and modern warfare 2 feel free to pause this chart well, let me actually move the camera out the way so you guys can have a better look at this yourself yeah and some games the changes really aren't 200 bucks worth if you know like the the 4070 definitely looks better value if you're interested in the specific fps values but here's what we really <coughs> The green bars here show the performance multiplier of the 4070 Ti over the cheaper 4070, and on yep. average, I measured 18%. So again, 18% more performance for 33% more cash, not exactly one nah. to one, and so that does make the 4070 yeah. the better value option. It's not an enormous difference. After all, we're talking about two GPUs on the same architecture that just released back to back, but for the yep. new 4070, it is giving you slightly more for the money. In fact, an interesting comparison here is versus the 10 gigabyte RTX 3080. The performance is almost the same. The margins- Right, so it's like a little bit better at some things, a little worse at others. What are the prices? That's what I want to know. The game, but on average, how much is the 3080? Let me check real quick. I don't know if if he shows it, then I'm wasting my time here. But uh, uh, 3080, just the normal one. Yeah, the 3080 is 700 dollars MSRP. That is fucked up. The the 4070 is way better value compared to it. I found that to be just a 0.1% difference between the two. Now, if you want to. So yeah, for the price, it really seems like just. And all around, like, yeah, it's expensive. It's 600 bucks. But, you know, you compare it to the other options. I mean, to be fair, he is comparing just to NVIDIA. I don't know how uh, AMD performs. Right, yeah, it is AMD. Uh, I, was, I was like, just, I didn't want to sound too stupid, okay? I had to double check. I wasn't sure. But, yeah, it's looking like the 4070 is super good value, even though it is expensive. Few that actually managed to buy a but you know in comparison to everything else hundred dollar msrp i'd say your gpu aged pretty well only a 100 dollar difference here over two years that's not bad in reality though considering the aged well but does it mean the new one isn't better 3080's market price was realistically price. beyond 900 dollars us during peak demand the 4070 isn't looking terrible in my opinion now here's a broader yeah. look of how things shape up in f122 versus all right this is what i wanted to see like a full-on I, and he has a, the 1080 Ti as well, the classic, so we can really see if it's worth 
the previous 70 tier GPUs like the 2070 and 3070, the rest of the 40 series lineup, as well as the GOAT of gaming GPUs, the 1080 Ti. So the 4080 and 4090 are pretty overkill for this game at 1440p, especially when you consider that- Yep, because you know, what, what those you can- DLSS is an option here that we have not used, Yep. And so overall, the 4070 is looking okay. For those that are on a two generation upgrade cycle, you're getting almost half the latency and double the frame rate between the 2070 and the new 4070. The 4070 looks particularly decent in Modern Warfare 2 though, for whatever reason. Hard to imagine that a 4080 here is double the price. Now you're probably wondering what AMD's answer is. It is, it is double the, pro okay, see, I, I, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I, I went in here, into this video, not checking the prices of, anything beforehand because i'm like hey i mean we're gonna learn hey we're, we're learning on the spot right I'm going from <laughs> completely unaware to finding out a little bit of info how much is the 40 4080 almost double the price he said 1.2k dollars yo that is not very worth <laughs> holy shit 70 looks particularly all right, yeah, the 4070 does look particularly decent. decent. Too, though, for <laughs> Hard to imagine that a 4080 here is double the price. Now you're probably wondering what AMD's wow. answer is in all Shit. of this. And according to them, it's the- And he's talking about AMD. Why did he even bother the fact check and everything? He, he, this guy gives us all the info, but man, that's, this is such a good video. Like actually, he doesn't just expect us to know everything. He actually says the shit 69 we need to know. XT. Yeah, a previous gen GPU. They've completely tanked the price of their previous flagship and the price to performance is actually pretty good. Oh, wait, how much was it again? 620, 630 bucks, okay. Price of their previous flagship and the price to performance. I mean, you're getting pretty much exactly what you're paying for here. Uh, actually, no, is it? Is actually, they've completely it's tanked the almost price of better the than this 4070 is it not it's it's the performance of it's it's better than the 4070 ti and it's cheaper the going fuck? 650 bucks or less <coughs> and you are definitely getting more frames here versus the new 4070 mm -hmm. amd have gone absolutely mental and that is probably sick. hoping you have too for thinking that this is actually a fair comparison because make no mistake while you are getting a faster product most of the time the 4070 wins in pretty much every other category oh uh, looking at performance well uh electricity consumption for me isn't uh like performance per watt again it really depends on where you live because yeah i'd say performance per watt for me not too much of a concern watt here there is a massive difference the 4070 pulls just 190 watts in f1 whereas the 6950 xd chugs well over 300. There are all right some okay games where the 4070 does manage to squeeze out a lead believe it or not in cyberpunk for example wow okay Cyberpunk is one of those few examples, and that's multiplied even further when ray tracing and DLSS are brought into the picture. That is actually a good point. Uh, I believe DLSS is better than whatever AMD has going, like the, the alternative that AMD has for them. And besides AMD's- And does AMD even have frame generation? hardware is already out there, so why would- Never, never heard of that being a thing. Talking about a previous gen GPU. We should be talking about the 7700 XT here, not a 6950 XT. All right, so the 4070, you okay. know, in closing, it's pretty good in isolation. You know, it plays pretty much anything that you'd want at 1440p. And it's especially good if you value a smaller form factor card with a lower power consumption. I mean, having a 3080 performance in a sub 200 watt card, I feel like there is genuinely something of value. There. Yeah, there, there's definitely going to be... That will is, is definitely exactly what you want for some people. Of course, though, if that's not something you care about, then at the $600 price point, you also have AMD 6950 XT if you don't mind buying something that's last gen and pulls way more power and, of course, is a much bigger form factor. And if you're also right. someone who might be considering the used market, then actually buying a used RTX 3080 might be a genuinely good deal. It might be a good deal, but by default, it seems like the 4070 is just the go-to right now for, for for that price for that price point yeah, that's is just pretty much it uh, as always a huge as good as it gets watching. of course I believe it wow down below for those okay i don't like this it's, it's not like i'm about to go build a fucking 4070 system right now or replace my gpu for whatever but this is just fuck fucking fun to watch i don't know i 
learning about info that's not necessarily useful to me, but still cool. This is this. It's fun. This this shit is fun. Nice video. Sick video. Sick vid. All right. Go hit up his socials. Subscribe to his channel, guys. That that was a that was a great video. Uh, a link to him will obviously be in the description. First thing when you when you scroll down, you'll see. Uh, I'll say something about him. Also hit up my main channel. I don't upload that much there, but when I do, the videos are kind of bangers. I'm working on one right now. It's going to be out in a few months, which sounds like a lot of time. And it is. Um, it is. <laughs> All right. See you, see you in the next video, which you should watch right now. Go go watch my next video, please, right now. Uh, subscribe along the way. Like the video, blah, blah, blah. Okay, bye. See ya. Woo!